Once we have solved the first two layers of our cube, we will end up with one of four patterns on the top layer here. The next step will consist of solving a yellow cross, as you see here. This is completely different from solving the white cross, so don't get confused. Okay, since we already have these first two layers here, we have to be more careful of what we do with the pieces. So this process is a little different than solving the white cross. So solving, ending up with the yellow cross after the first two layers is very uncommon. But this is what you, essentially you'll see after you solve it. Most of the time you'll end up with one of two situations. Either this L or gun pattern or a bar pattern here. You can also see a pattern where you just have one dot or the yellow sticker in the middle with no yellow edge pieces. This is less common than these two but more common than ending up with a solved cube. Okay, So here are three patterns really consist of one move with a different beginning and this is where we get to our lowercase f move as I mentioned in the introduction video. So we'll start with our L pattern or gun pattern. Okay, When we have this we always want it to be in this lower right position so with our gun facing this direction. Okay, So we don't want it here. Okay, That doesn't work. We don't want it here, here, but indeed we want it right here facing that direction. And the move for this, again, the algorithm will be in the description, is we're going to do lowercase f, so front two, and then we do what's known as the sexy move, r, u, r prime, u prime, and then we'll lowercase f prime. And that will give us our yellow cross. Again, we're just looking at the edge pieces, so what happens with these corner pieces is completely irrelevant for this step, so just appreciate the fact that you have a yellow cross right now. Okay, when we have the bar, we want it horizontal, not vertical. Okay, horizontal. Piece just fell up. Put that back in there. Horizontal, okay. We're going to do the same move, except instead of doing lowercase f, we're just doing regular f, so capital F, so the front layer. Sexy move. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that gives us our cross. Very good. And the other situation is with no edge pieces, so just the yellow center. And what we're going to do here is the combination of those two moves. So we'll do lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime. That gives us our bar pattern. Okay, and then with the bar we put it horizontal. Do capital F, r, u, r prime, u prime, capital F prime, and that gives us our cross. Okay, and to run through those again one more time, here we have our dot pattern. So lowercase f, r, u, r prime, u prime, lowercase f prime brings us to our bar pattern. We don't want it vertical, so we'll rotate it. So we have a horizontal bar pattern. Capital F, r, u, r prime, u prime, f prime. It gives us our cross. So really, we're only learning one move, just learning how to position it correctly. So here we have a bar pattern. We don't want it vertical. We'll rotate it so we have a horizontal. Then f. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and that gives us our yellow cross. This is a pretty simple technique. Um, step to the cube. Okay, there's one algorithm you just need to understand um, whether to use move the front layer or the front two layers. So again, with the bar or the gun, we want it facing this direction. Okay, let's see if we can get back there. So we have our gun pattern. We want it facing that direction. If we don't have it facing that direction, we'll see what happens. We'll do our double, our two layer, R, U, R prime, U prime. Put that back. That just produces another same pattern we started with, just rotated the edge pieces, or corner pieces, which we don't care about. So in order for it to have the effect we want, we need the gun or L to be facing this direction. Okay, so we have our small f, R, U, R prime, U prime, F, small f prime, gives us our cross. Okay, the next step we'll worry about getting the rest of the yellow corners, but for now, just appreciate the fact that we have our yellow cross and we have oriented the top layer edge pieces in their correct position um, so we can move them later on to match them up with their center pieces. That's it for this step. Pretty easy. Um, thanks for watching.